Hi everybody. So for many reasons, some strange, some not so strange, <laughs> I have updated my collection this week up by five, which is kind of fun. Um, uh, Endy deck, a very, very, very independent deck, which means that I created a deck solely for myself. Um, so there's only one like it. Um, and then I've got three masked uh, produced decks. So I'll be doing a lot of unboxing and things. Um, today I got one in. See, I'm going to not show the whole thing, but I got one in today and I am just about to open it. Um, And we have Oracle of the Hidden World. So this will be my unboxing and first impressions. I know it uh, came out this past year by Lucy Cavendish, artwork by Gilbert Williams. You may be very familiar with Miss Cavendish's work. She has put out a lot of different um, decks and oracle uh oracle decks and things like that and um i'm a very 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 big fan so um this is very exciting i've seen a couple of unboxings uh and openings i don't watch the entirety of them because i would love to be um you know have my own first impressions when i actually see the entire deck but i have seen um, probably about 20, 25% of this deck and I absolutely am in love with what I've seen so far. Um, shut up Annie and just start opening it, right? Nobody cares what you think. Well, not into the entirety for you not to do anything on camera. Stop talking and keep going. <laughs> Maybe that's what I mean. Okay. So Oracle of the Hidden Worlds by Lucy Cavendish. Nice sturdy box. Um, you have some on the back, uh, just to let you see what we're going on. It says, beyond this world, just out of the sight, lie wondrous realms that you may have glimpsed, imagined, remembered, or visited in dreams. These other worlds exist beyond the veils to protect and preserve their knowledge and energies. They are slowly revealing themselves, allowing themselves to be experienced, discovered, remembered, and restored. Enter the visionary artwork of Gilbert Williams and embark on a marvelous journey into secret spaces and magical places with best-selling author Lucy Cavendish as your personal guide. Discover light temples, liminal pathways, Lemurian relics, Camelot's mysteries, and more. These worlds may be hidden, but their magic, glory, and wisdom are within your reach. That's very beautiful. So, good box here. Is this Hay House? Who is this? Oh, Blue Angel, of course. It's but This is by Blue Angel. I love these. That's why they always put a little um, piece of paper in there to uh, just kind of keep everything nice and neat. Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. Um, looks like there's some spreads in there. Asking questions. Um, an introduction. A lot of information on uh, journaling and stuff. And that's one of the reasons I've actually bought a whole bunch of decks is because I'm starting to journal more and... Um, having spirit revealed to me using the divinity of these decks because I know that's part of um, how I work with spirit and this is going to be a new way is a, a new way of journaling for me which I'll also be making a video about real soon but I wanted to kind of get in a little bit deeper with this new way that I've been journaling um, anyways but it looks like there's some spreads in here beyond the veil um, quite a few spreads is what it looks like how fun and then the cards and their meanings. So not too shabby of a book. Looks like there's about 130 plus pages. Um, and then uh, we have the cards. So I guess we can do it this way. little sleeve here. These are gigantic. And some people don't like gigantor cards um, because 
of the ability or inability to shuffle. Um, there's so many different ways to teach yourself to shuffle. Uh, I don't know if that's a pain to learn different ways to do things for some people. Um, I wouldn't let the size of cards hold you back from any deck because you can get, you can get some cool stuff no matter what size they are. Anywho, these are the backs, these are the fronts, and there is upright cards and then there's landscape cards that I've noticed. And guys, these are beautiful. So I'm just going to kind of go through these um, just one by one and then kind of let you know what I think. I don't think that the camera will be doing justice. Um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I do know that when I've looked at these in other videos and now holding them in my hand and seeing them up close and personal, there's nothing like it. To be honest, just having these in my hand and having this artwork is very nice. I'm, I'm very impressed. I can actually feel more and see more now that they are in my hands, the energy levels, the intentions behind these cards. Um, I feel like maybe um, I wasn't getting that as much in other videos. I'm not real sure, but I feel, I feel a little bit more connected now that they're actually in my hand. So, I don't know. That might be saying something. The light, the angels. Ugh. Yeah, I, I'm feeling, definitely feeling these cards for sure. I can't wait to read about them. Skyfire. Wow. I'm telling you in person, these are just fantastic. The secret of Camelot, the authority of spirit. Look at that palace back in the background. <laughs> A place you may see an aura of because it's beyond the veil. That kind of looks like a hermit card for tarot. That's beautiful. This, these are these are extremely beautiful cards to have. Makes me want to sit these on my altar for a while and just have one card at a time and maybe journal about it. But I'll definitely be using these in spreads too after I cleanse them. I feel like I've seen a vision very similar to this. This is very beautiful. These are very interesting, beautiful cards and I'm very, very happy that I've bought this. Hmm. 
And there's the Hidden Worlds. This is the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds deck and guidebook set. Oh my goodness, look at this. Tree of Souls. That's a beautiful card. <laughs> These are very pretty. That one's kind of interesting. Returning home, a transition, life between lifetimes, loving and welcome. Yeah, these um, so far first impressions are these are very beautiful, very, very, very artistic. I'm excited to read the guidebook. Um, actually very excited to journal with these and to um, just intuitively open up about how I'm feeling and where it takes me and um, just whatever comes out and just kind of see what happens. That's what um, I'm really excited about with these cards. I also have some more coming in that um, are like that maybe even with a, a little bit more of a shadow aspect to them. Um, the ones I made with some stock photos, they don't have any numbers or anything on them like these do. Um, they also don't have any sayings on them. I wanted it to be pure intuitive um, readings when I look at the cards and I'll be doing a walkthrough of those as well. But there are 44 cards in these. Um, with this beautiful geometry on the back. They're purple, um, the colors, the art, everything about this so far, I really, really like. Um, yes, they are large, I think, um, not large enough to do this kind of shuffling. Looks like it won't be too bad. Uh, maybe um, if it's too hard, maybe you could even do it that way for some people. Um, they're not, they're not that bad, uh, you know, you might have to just work with different ways of, you know, going through and seeing, you know, what works for you. It just, it, yeah, so, um, so I guess some people might not like it, but it doesn't look like it's, uh, that much difficult. I do have really long fingers though, so it kind of helps. Um, but yes, uh, Oracle of the Hidden Worlds, um, I will be doing some, cleansing and some readings, um, doing my own journaling, getting the energy all locked up in there before I do a couple of the spreads. But um, I give these guys a thumbs up. If you like this video or resonate, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you have these, um, what you guys like to do with them, what spreads you like to do. Um, and let me know what it is about this deck that you really, really, really resonate with. I'd love to hear about it. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more unboxing tarot and oracle videos talk to you guys soon love like namaste